Welcome back everyone to another episode of GTV. I'm David and this is our new member Gustavo. Uh, hello everyone. Uh, I hope your Halloween was fantastic and I'm happy to be here. Today we'll be watching a few segments starting with Warrior Rama. That's right. Call High has been doing a special event this year for all the classes where every grade competes with each other. We call it Warrior Rama. It's an Olympic style competition where all four classes compete for the top honors. Wow, that was a very dominant game for the seniors. It was, and congratulations to the seniors who won the, at the event. Other classes though, better luck next time. Yes, now let's move to special Thanksgiving interviews. Hey Mr. Jonas, how you doing? How about you, Gustavo? I'm doing good. Uh, what are you most thankful for? I have to say I'm most thankful for our school year being as real as possible. It's really great seeing students here back in the classrooms learning, playing sports, getting to be in clubs, and overall just kids getting to be kids again. It's really great. Yeah, and personally when I was over here, you know, doing quarantine and, you know, through computer learning, it was really difficult for me. So I'm very happy for us to be here. It's one of those things I'm grateful for. But uh, Thanksgiving is coming up. Do you even celebrate it? I do. My family loves any opportunity to eat lots of food, and so we're pretty typical. You take about 25 of us and a lot of food and put us in a living room and watch the chaos ensue. <laughs> <laughs> any, like, you know, family traditional foods or, like, you know? Um, not anything that's, like, too crazy, except I've um, really taken to my wife's cooking, and she's Portuguese, so she makes her stuffing with linguiça in it, and it's delicious really oh dude you're making my snack grumble <laughs> i'm really hungry right now but uh hey how's your been so far you know it, it's been really great um it's been a big change coming from distance learning to blended learning and now back all full force and then you know till three o'clock with masks up but the students are amazing and so i think with them they're getting me through every single day that's very heartwarming, Mr. Jonas. But like, you know, just to end it off, you know, what are some like funny childhood memories you had? Ooh, childhood memories. Um, I would say, actually, speaking of Thanksgiving, we used to go hunt for our turkeys. And I had a over-under, it was my first year going hunting with the group, and an over-under is a rifle on top and shotgun on bottom. And it's for turkeys and for game hunting. And the problem was, I didn't realize that it clicked on shotgun, and I was about from here to you with the turkey, I finally found one. And it was fat and plump and didn't ever see it coming. Well, the problem is it practically exploded. Wow. The only turkey we saw that year. <laughs> wow. Well, hey, thanks for coming out. Absolutely. Thank you so much, Gustavo. Yeah, no problem. All right, hey, Edith, how are you doing? Hi, good, thank you. Good. Uh, it's Thanksgiving coming around. Do you, does your family celebrate it? Uh, yeah, they do. Really? Really? Like anything like, you know, cool dishes, you know? Well, I think it's just like, you know, the ordinary making like stuffing, um, turkey and stuff like that. Mmm. Yeah. Thanksgiving's cool, I guess. <laughs> I don't really have that many fond memories. What about you? 
Uh, I mean, the only fun memories that I have are like hanging out with family and stuff and like with friends. So that's really it. Mm, that's nice. Well, like, since we're on the topic of, you know, family and friends, what are you most thankful for? I think I'm most thankful for my family since they've been like the most supportive and like friends too. So, yeah. That's nice. Well, hey, thank you, Edith, for. Well, thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your week. Yeah, and along with that week off, have a great Thanksgiving.